Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys. Now please take a look at my hands and arms. They're in their typical relaxed position where the arms sort of come in at an angle like this. And you notice my hands and arms aren't flat on the table. They're sort of up at about a 45 degree angle. Take a look at your own hands and arms if you're sitting back watching the video. If they're in your lap, again, your arms are like this. And probably your hands aren't flat on your legs. Your hand and wrist is sort of up at a little angle like this. Well, that's a natural position. So make a note of this. There will be a test later, and the right answer could save you from needing carpal tunnel surgery. And this brings me to the topic of today's product review. This is the Microsoft Natural Keyboard. Epic review guys. This is actually my fourth Microsoft Natural Keyboard. The keys do after time. One or two of them will go out, and that's what's happened on my current keyboard, so I've got a new one. I'm not saying the keyboard lasts forever, and that's why you should get it. I'm saying that I will not use any other keyboard because this keyboard and the mouse that I have switched to, I believe, has pulled me back from the brink of needing carpal tunnel surgery. Now, if you'll indulge me, I'll speak very briefly about ergonomics. This is a computer keyboard. Doesn't look very different from the keyboard you use, probably. An interesting point, though, is this is the keyboard from my very first computer back in 1995. And the reason I'm showing you this is it probably looks like your keyboard today. They haven't changed the keyboards. In terms of getting the work done with the QWERTY layout of the letters, a keyboard is a keyboard, but here's the problem. When I use this keyboard, my arms are basically in here and more or less straight going to the keys so they can set on the home keys properly. And my hands are pretty much flat on the keyboard. So when I'm working hour after hour, my arms are in this position and my hands and wrists are in this position as opposed to where they'd like to be, like this. Here's the Microsoft Natural Keyboard. This is actually my old one that the V key and the one key went out for some reason, but with Epic Review Guys being the name of our channel, I really do need that V. Now when I put my hands here on the home keys, my arms are like this, and there's a curve to the keyboard. It's split right here, and it has a wave to it so that when my hands are on it, they're at this angle, they're not like this. Now I'll explain exactly why all that's important here shortly, but let me do a product review in the meantime. This is my brand new keyboard, which is exactly the same as my old keyboard, except all the keys should work. This is a Microsoft Natural Ergonomic 4000. It's a keyboard, but there are some features in it that are good and a couple that it lacks that I really would like. Of course, I love the ergonomicness of it. I also like the fact that it has dedicated lights that let you know when you have the cap locks on. I like the fact that it does have a 10 key. I do occasionally use that. All the special dedicated silver buttons at the top where you can program it to start your music and pause it and skip to the next song. I don't ever use those, so that's neither here nor there. It doesn't come with any extras plugs into your USB port. Now one thing this keyboard doesn't have, one feature I told myself I would absolutely get in my next keyboard is backlit keys. So when it's dim, if you get off the home keys or you can't find a number up at the top, you can look down and see that. When it's dim, you can't see the little bit of white paint to show you what the numbers and letters are. I'm a touch typist, but I do occasionally need to see what I'm doing. So I really, really wanted a backlit keyboard. I searched, I was sure that somebody made a very nice, ergonomic, good quality backlit keyboard. Couldn't find it, so I went back to getting the very same keyboard I've used for the last um, probably six or seven years. Another feature with this keyboard is this plastic portion here. It lifts the front of the keyboard up so that your wrist rests on this rubbery surface here while you're typing. And if you don't like that or you're sitting in a desk that's already too high for you, you can take this off and just use it. It's a little bit more like a regular keyboard if you do that. Also, I like the key feel in this. I like how much the keys travel and how it feels, that tactile sense. So I can type very quickly with this keyboard. I might like a mechanical keyboard better just because I like a little more click in it, but those are very expensive and they make them mostly for gaming, not for ergonomic purposes. But if you can't find the Microsoft Natural Ergonomic 4000 keyboard locally, it goes for about $30 and I'll put a link to it down below this video. Now about all this emphasis on ergonomic, is that just a bunch of hokum? Well, if you've felt carpal tunnel pain, you don't think so. But if you haven't experienced it yet, then you may be dubious. So let me tell you a little bit about 
how my ancestors over the past, oh, 10,000 years or so have done things with their hands. Okay, now fortunately for you, my loincloth is out of the dry cleaners, so I won't be wearing it in this demonstration, but I just want you to see how I'm sitting here cross-legged, and I think this is probably how people have worked with tools for thousands and thousands of years. This is our workspace, and whether it's women um, working to prepare food, whether they have the the stone piece with another stone piece, grinding the grain, doing things like that. All your work happened right here. Men who were making the flint, the um, arrowheads and so forth, doing that work. Basically everything happened right here. Basically this is the workspace and we made the tools and conformed the tools so they would work with our body to get the job done. Now this is still pretty much the workspace where people are doing their work today, though they're sitting in a cubicle at an office. The problem is that with the regular keyboard and mouse, those are the tools you're going to use to get your work done, you're not making the tools conform to you, you're told to go sit at your desk and conform to the tools. So instead of doing the work in natural motions, you have to do this and go to the mouse and do this. And this is how you spend the day in very unnatural positions. The wrist really doesn't like it and there's no need for it if you use an ergonomic keyboard and if you use a correct ergonomic mouse, I'll show you the one that I use. So instead of your hand doing this, your hand is doing this, much more natural, much more organic motion, you can save your wrists. So what's that? You've got to replace your mouse too? Yes, actually. Here is a, a mouse I found, just a standard one I think we bought a few years ago. Looks almost identical to those first mice that they came out with, what, 20 years ago. Still works the same way. You basically put your hand on it like this. Move it front to back, side to side, use the fingers to click. Now if you're doing a, a very delicate work on it, if you're doing CAD design, or if you're gaming, you don't just rest your hand on it. You probably have this little bit more elevated hold where you're putting the strain of holding it up in order to be able to move it very precisely because that's what you need is precision and so doing it kind of sloppy where you lay your hand on it isn't gonna get you a win in those first person shooter games it's got to be up like this so you can have those lightning reflexes and it does work uh, my brother and I we played a first person shooter for some time it's called Crossfire a free online game we got it um, we started playing that right when it first came out we were fairly good we actually entered in tournaments we had a group of about a hundred people we practiced together i got some really bad wrist pain and at first it would only come up after maybe playing 20 minutes or so it would start to ache right in here but i kept playing and it got to the point where it would ache even when i wasn't on a computer and i thought oh i've pushed it too far well university of california actually studied this and found that it it's not the mouse itself it's the position of your hand on the mouse because your arm wants to be like this but when you're using a mouse you're forcing it to be like this and then again if you're doing intense things with it you're having that constant tension and it's right in there so they designed a mouse to take that pressure off and let your hand use a mouse in a normal way. This is their creation, the Evolulent Mouse. Now I've reviewed this before and I am such a big supporter of it. It is, as you can see, it's got the buttons to click, the little scroll wheel. It is a mouse turned on its side. So now when you use it, your hand is in a natural neutral position. You don't strain your wrist anymore. Well, my wrist probably hurt for the better part of a year after I stopped gaming, but it hurt less and less once I switched over to this mouse because I wasn't constantly putting it in the position where all the damage had been done. I can function, I can open jars, I can use this mouse and still use the computer for a couple hours a day without any pain. Good enough for me. The Evolulent mouse is pricey. This is just under $100 for this. Now I've seen that there are some, I don't know, to say knockoffs. There are other companies making this and selling them for around $30. I don't know if they are as good, but if that's all you can afford and you're in a desperate state to try to help out your wrist, even that would be worth a try. If you're interested in the Evolulent mouse, I'll put a link down below this video. So in my hours each day on the computer went from being spent like this to like this, it made a big change for me. And if you've got that telltale wrist pain, 
and you're using a setup like this, you might want to try something like this and see if you see any improvement with it before it gets too bad. So for the time being, this is the best that we've got for getting what's here into your computer. And I don't even mind every three or four years having to buy another keyboard because some of the keys have gone out, so long as I don't need to get a new wrist. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy.